Right now, former gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams is in closed door meetings with Hollywood insiders and executives. They're discussing how to keep Georgia's bustling film industry intact. The production companies are threatening to leave Georgia if our new abortion law takes full effect in January. It prohibits, it prohibits abortions after the fetal heartbeat is detected. 11 Lies, Faith Abube is in Los Angeles. She's been there for the couple of days. And you know, how are things going right now, Faith? What is she saying? Well, our understanding is that those critical meetings, as her team is calling them, are still going on as we speak. And we have a one-on-one -on -one sit down interview with her as soon as those interviews or those meetings rather are over. Of course, we'll bring you those details as soon as we have them. But this meeting for her is important for several reasons and the numbers really do the talking here. So I want us to put them up on the screen for you as we talk you through them and explain exactly what's going on. So Georgia lured these production companies into our state with a handsome tax break a 20% tax credit just to come and do business in Georgia and they've delivered so far. The film industry in Georgia is doing very well right now. It's responsible for about 92,000 jobs and that's according to the Georgia Department of Economic Development which also says in 2017 the industry spent 2.7 billion dollars in our state. Now the former president of CBS Entertainment who also has a production company herself invited her Hollywood colleagues and Abrams to meet here in Beverly Hills. In that letter she wrote quote Many of us have projects here in the state, and I know it's complicated. There's a lot of money and jobs at stake for us and for the people of Georgia. She went on to say this is an opportunity to brainstorm and strategize their response to the abortion ban and the reality that employees in the state of Georgia may not have full access to health care or the freedom to make decisions about their futures and their families. Again, we're waiting to have that sit down interview with Stacey Abrams to find out exactly how that conversation was who was in the room what was the tone and to give you a little bit more of, of a, you know a picture of what exactly happened and if they've reached an agreement that these companies will stay in the state of Georgia those details are coming up as soon as we sit down with her any minute and now of course we'll bring you those details on up late at 11 o'clock tonight and on 11alive.com as soon as we have those details all right Faith Abube live in Los Angeles thanks Faith will be standing by to hear more from you. Here in Georgia, people with close connections to politics and the film industry are watching the Abrams visit. Some with their fingers crossed, others with a measure of cynicism. 11 Live's Doug Richards has more on that. I approached a bunch of Georgia Republicans today to see what they thought about Stacey Abrams' visit to Hollywood. Most of them didn't want to talk about it at all even Governor Brian Kemp's office. Well, I will agree with one very small part of her message, which is stay. Lane Flynn is a Republican who is less than impressed with the Abrams mission. He views it as partisan self-promotion from a failed politician on behalf of a film industry that he thinks isn't going anywhere anyway because it would lose Georgia tax credits. And I don't think in the long run they're going to want to change that regardless of what Stacey Abrams may or may not say. Are you worried that that would happen and Stacey Abrams would take credit for it? Well, she's welcome to take credit for all sorts of things. It doesn't mean I'm going to give her that credit. Republican State Chairman David Schaefer was more pointed in a text message. She is not the governor, but Hollywood is the perfect place for her to pretend to be one. Georgia film workers have been nervous over blowback from filmmakers over Georgia's heartbeat law and their threats to leave the state if the law takes effect. She's a great person to be that voice for us. Karen Casey is an actor who worked for Abrams in last year's election. She's rooting for Abrams to defend Georgia as a place to shoot movies, even though it enacted a law Hollywood resists. She's used to working both sides of the argument, and we need to see it more as a, it's not a red-blue issue, it's a work-or-not-work work issue. One Republican I talked with who served with Abrams in the legislature speculated that she was not only in Hollywood talking with film folks, but also talking with political donors about whatever her next political race will be. All right, Doug, thanks a lot. A 